And now, a California exhibition in St. Bernard presents the amazing first audio adventure show! Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Sparks, Tony Palermo. I'm a sound effects artist and I work in Hollywood doing... Wait, hold on, there's a... Uh... There's a sound effect at the door. Uh, let me uh, just make sure that I... Uh... Oh, there is a sound effect at the door. In fact, it's like one of the first sound effects I ever had as a kid. And maybe you too, right? It was, it's a slide whistle. Oh, look, Jimmy. I can do this. I can even play like a scary kind of a spacey kind of a thing with it. In Hollywood, I'm a sound effects artist and I work primarily in radio. In films, there's sort of a related discipline called Foley. You'll see Foley artists, named for Jack Foley, who would try to reinforce the reality that's filmed in a show. And so if it's, it's mostly what they do are human sounds, door knocks, footsteps, fights, plates and that. But I will also explode spaceships and have carnivorous space cattle and, and sink pirates and, uh, and explode uh, anything I need to. If I have a sound, uh, we need to do it in real time on radio because we're live often. And so for that, if I needed to have the sound of, say, this. Oh, 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 ah, oh, thank you, doctor. Oh, I feel so much better. Yes, that's right. Mm. We'll use a, a mechanical device. And these come from, like, the 1940s. This is an old CBS uh, Creaker style uh, done with rope and rosin and a, and a, and a dowel with, with a tuner for it. It helps to be inventive because you never know what they're going to ask for. Fox, Fox, we got an emergency here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rollo, the tap dancing dog, just broke his leg. Oh, I can do a I dog need break. You yeah. to sub for him. I can do a dog break. You have to do a tap dancing dog. Tap dancing dog. We're typing in the music from Studio A. <laughs> 